Um, and yes, I am currently single. I'm enjoying my life. My biggest priority, truthfully, I've said it before. I know people don't believe me, but it was really just working on me. It's been two years since we saw you on our TV screens regularly. Um, yeah. What would you say your biggest lesson or takeaway has been in the last two years since you were The Bachelorette? My biggest lesson mm. <sighs> is just to remain true to me. And I feel like I did that. Um, but I'm really proud of that. And I feel like some people have got to get caught up in the mix of everything. And, um, I think the best way, the best practice is just to be you. And I think with that, all of these things have come and it, it just kind of finds you like when you're true to yourself. So I think that's my biggest lesson is just to continue to remain grounded and, um, be very thankful for everything. Mm -hmm. You've been having some fun on TikTok lately, making some funny <laughs> videos about dating and stuff like that. Um, Tisha, are you single? I saw something about you and a chef at one point. <laughs> you know, y'all are funny. You guys really want to, me to be in a couple of relationships. I know that. I, at one point, I think I had five boyfriends and I didn't even know their names. So it's very fun um, playing with people on TikTok. But um, and yes, I am currently single. I'm enjoying my life. My biggest priority, truthfully, I've said it before. I know people don't believe me, but it was really just working on me um, and just kind of like finding my own in New York City. But also focusing on the things that like really make me happy, which is like my philanthropy efforts. And um, I really love the fashion industry as well and fitness and my mental health. So that's been the main priority. Your friend Austin Kroll helps stir the pot for you a little bit too. Um, <laughs> how did you become friends with Austin, first of all? And do you watch Southern Charm? Are you into the, the that Bravo that part? So Austin and I actually met originally on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, and we were on the show together. So that's when I met him. I had never seen Southern Charm actually previously. And we kind of just have a, a couple of mutual friends here in the city. And he, every time he is here, I happen to run into the man, <laughs> um, but he's awesome. Yeah. So I don't, I can't say that we're fully in love like he has played. <laughs> You know, love you, Austin. No. Um, would you ever date another reality star like that? Would you go there with Austin for you? What would it take to make a relationship public because you know what it's like to be on all sides of that? I think, um, I don't know, never say never, obviously. But <sighs> I don't know where to go with this one. <laughs> um, <laughs> We'll see what happens. We'll just leave it there. We'll see what happens. Never say never. With Austin or with it's anyone? It's difficult having a, a public relationship. I think that's one thing that, it's another lesson I've learned is I really want to protect that in the future um, and kind of maybe keep it quiet and under wraps for a minute and then maybe let the people in on the on the news after a little while. That's just fair. because people are private investigators. I don't even know how they figure out half the things they do now, but yeah. No, it's it's scary. And people are gonna ask you. And so that's why I have to ask <laughs> well, you. It's fun, it's exciting and I get it. You know, you followed a lot of my love journey like the last like three, four years. So I understand it's all exciting, but at the same time, like I kind of want to have a normal relationship to some extent, so. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, you, you and Zach even were very like conscious, I feel like of not saying anything really about your breakup or good and just always nice things about each other. Was that such a conscious decision you made? And are you happy you guys kind of stuck with that? Yes. I mean, if anything, like him and I both know the truth and where we stand. And I've actually never said anything in the media about our relationship, except for we're no longer together. And I know people might think otherwise, but that's literally the only statement we've ever given out. So um, I think that's just like something about like, maturity and how we decided to proceed and yeah at the end of the day no one else needs to know anything else so yeah we can we can be nosy as we want but i mean you guys can come up with all of like the speculations you want but yeah i'll just keep being me i'm just gonna keep making tiktoks how about that